everyone. Welcome to Thursday's Live. Uh, my name is Tracy Bish and I'm a STEM Camp demonstrator who comes to you every Thursday at 5 um, with a Create with Tracy. So welcome everyone. As you're popping on, please pop on and say hello. Um, <laughs> forgot to turn my laptop off. Oh, it's always something. Um, if you're new here, I'm really happy that you've you found me please make sure um, to hit that subscribe button and um, yeah say hello let me know where you're watching from as well hi Sue how are you I am well I'm very tired but I'm well I'm actually sipping on a can of coke because I feel like I could just go to bed it has been a super long week two weeks weekend Everything's just getting mashed together. So um, we did go to the Avalon Air Show on the weekend, which was fantastic. Uh, it was such a great time. We did go down early on Saturday and we stayed overnight. Um, our daughter and her boyfriend met us and we stayed in a Airbnb at a farm stay, which was awesome. And then we went to the Avalon Air Show the next day our son met us down there with his girlfriend, so it was a really great day, so warm, like it was really actually quite hot, but um, fantastic. Couldn't, um, you know, couldn't fault it at all. No, we weren't stuck in traffic. We actually decided that we would drive to Lara um, train station and then we got the bus from there, that the coach that was running through, so uh, we had no issues at all. And we left about 3.30, quarter to four, so um, we didn't get caught in any of the traffic. Hi, Marion. Hi, Glenda. Hi, Pam. Welcome, everyone. So happy that you're all here. So hopefully you've had a really great week. Um, that was just part of it for us. Um, didn't sort of, we haven't stopped going. So uh, really, really busy Monday and Tuesday. Um, we do we have a shop here so we have our monthly bills go out we have to do those on the Monday our quarter our four weeks was up so that was busy we had our mail car breakdown so we actually went down to Melbourne yesterday afternoon once we shut the shop and got a new mail car so um, yeah all our, our days are being busy frantic and getting things done so I'm looking forward to going to bed tonight <laughs> Yeah, look, so I, I did see, especially on Saturday, the traffic was awful. And um, my son actually drove all the way down to the air show. He didn't go to the Lara train station. And he took him about um, maybe 25 minutes to get out. So he's not complaining either because yeah, it wasn't hours that some were waiting. Hi, Lizzie. And I think that's from the UK, is it? It's a little hard to see on my little laptop. <laughs> I think it's the UK flag. Welcome. I'm glad that you're here. Yeah, so um, busy, busy week. We have a long weekend this weekend, which I'm excited for as well. Um, I haven't got anything planned, but I do have some crafty things that I have to get done this weekend. So I think I might be in my craft room just for a few of those days anyway. So getting a few things done. Does anyone else have plans for the long weekend? I know here in Victoria it's the long weekend. I don't know whether any of the other states are having long weekend this weekend. I think it was WA last weekend had their Labor Day. But, oh, it was the UK. Awesome, Lizzie. Um, Sue's working. Oh, that's no good. I hope, um, hope the day goes fast for you at least, though. And, yeah, so I've got a few things on my work schedule to get done. Um, but they're fun things, you know what I mean? So, um always nice to sit in my craft room anyway so I'm not gonna complain yeah alrighty so um, does anyone else have anything going on this week that you want to share or this weekend um, I really don't think I've got anything else we've been signed off I don't know whether I told you guys that we had a um, diesel generator put into our shop and, and home um, with the what's called an ATS switch I think is what it's called so when the power goes out, our generator kicks in straight away and keeps everything going. So that got signed off this week. So uh, that was really, that's another just added excitement for us this week. 
Um, we have been waiting since July last year, so it's been a, a big process too. But yeah, we've finally got it all worked out and um, it's up and running, it's been inspected. And yeah, if they turn the power off in the area, we're still gonna be able to keep going, so that's awesome. All right, um, I don't think anyone else has really got much to say. Please uh, leave your comments if you have anything to let us know, um, if you've got something exciting going on, and I'll come back to the comments and take a look. I'm gonna pop the camera down um, and show you a few announcements. Today's craft that we're going to be doing is um, a fun fold card, which is super fun. Um, maybe you've done it before, maybe you haven't, but um, it's also March's tutorial bundle card. Now, um, this is actually a huge bundle tutorial. There's 47 projects in this bundle. Um, I actually haven't even got the bundle yet. I've only got the preview of the front page. Um, we're waiting on a few people to do a few things before um, it gets completed. But uh, 47 projects, that's a lot of projects. And I really love the card that I've created. It is a bit of a fun fold and um, yeah, I'd, it's not one that I've done before, so it's going to be exciting to show you. There's a couple of ways you can get hold of the tutorial um, that we're for the card that we're creating today, or you can get the whole tutorial bundle um, a couple of ways as well. But I'll talk to you about that um, once we get into it. So let's pop the camera down. I've got a few quick announcements, and then we can get started with our crafting. So give me a second, everyone. Sorry about that noise, I know it's not the nicest. Alrighty, just gonna move my chair out of the road as well so I don't trip over it. It's nice to sit down for a minute. Alrighty, so uh, this month started our online exclusives. This is a new thing for Stamping Up. It's going to come out every couple of months and Okay, I think I've got the flickering done. Um, there are new products added. This is only just a few of the products. There is a new bundle that's coming out and I was hoping to have it here in my hands for tonight. I haven't got it. It'll probably come tomorrow now, um, but I'm super excited for it. So I've got something new coming out with that. But yeah, the online exclusives are things that you can only see in the online store. They're, they're not in the catalogue or anything like that, but you can purchase them in my online store. So if you want to have a look, please go over there. And I probably, I probably should have put a link um, to the online exclusive area in the description. But if you go into my online store there, I think it's one of the first things that comes up anyway. So if you want to see the new products there, go over and hit that once we're finished um, tonight. Hi, Deborah, how are you? All right, so lots and lots of great things in that online exclusive, and these are going to be new each time, um, each, I think it's every two months, so that's super exciting. So the new one that I do wanna show you is the Rhino Ready Bundle. Um, I think this is so adorable. I love, <coughs> excuse me, I love critter stamps and um, dies. Do you remember the um, the hippos one that we had not very long ago? Um, to me, that sort of reminds me of this set. What I'm offering with this set, if you purchase the Rhino Ready Bundle through my online store, so using this number, it's $88. I'm going to have a class with kits. There's three cards in all. Um, I will send you the cards, we'll do an online group just for you guys and we'll create, create the cards together. There will be a PDF and you'll be able to see that video as well. But um, all you need to do is purchase that bundle through me and you'll get a three card kit as an extra exclusive just for shopping with me. So I think that's sort of fun and um, I think, you know, there's so many great ideas that could be made with this bundle. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And look at the dies. These trees are so cute. Look at that. 
very African to me. Just looks so great. So yeah, so that one is available and that's throughout this month. The card class will be next month in April, if you're interested. Okay, so the new Creative Vault um, classes have been loaded. There is uh, my 3D class, there is a scrapbooking class, a colouring class, Wendy has her own um, card class there and she's also doing a fun card with her sister. So um, new, new classes are added every single month so it's a lot of new product and new content each month. It just gets added so it just keeps building and building. Can I just say this is, there is a lot of great content over there and you can sign up for 50% off right now using the um, affiliate code in the description of this video. Pop in the coupon code VAULT to get 50% off your first month. So um, yeah, and this is done with Wendy Cranford in the US and she's amazing. That's all I'm gonna say, she's amazing. She has great ideas and you always have a lot of fun with her as well. Okay, so we do have the March tutorial bundle. Like I said before, I don't have the full tutorial bundle yet. We're waiting on a few more projects, but there's 47 projects in all in this bundle. Now, the, the ways you can get hold of this bundle tutorial is you can join my team, the Inky Stampers. My team gets this tutorial bundle every single month for free. You can also place an order in my online store and you'll get this sent in an email as well as your handmade card for the month and for this month it is the um, sweet citrus card let me know if you want to see what that card is I'll go and grab it and I can show you but um, that's also another way of getting this uh, March tutorial bundle or if you sign up for my emails each month I always send out a single e single tutorial just on the project or card that I've created for this project uh, for this tutorial bundle so if you like the card that we're going to create today and you want to get the tutorial um, just for that card all you need to do is go over to my blog sign up for my emails and that will be sent out to you every month every month it's a different card or project but um, it's a free tutorial as well this um, can I say 47 is a lot of different projects, full colour photos, all the measurements and the instructions on to create those cards and projects. So you're getting a lot of really, really great ideas and inspiration. And that changes each month, as you know. All right, and straight off the press, actually this afternoon, I have the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle. This is the card that we're gonna make next Thursday using the Rain or Shine Suite. I absolutely love every single project in this month's tutorial bundle. I love this suite, so I think it was um, a very easy one to create with, and I think everyone had um, a really easy time in creating because it's just such a beautiful, beautiful suite. So I'll be showing you the card next Thursday for this suite, but anyone who purchases in my online store of over $100 in product, They'll also receive the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle as a free gift as well. Now, if you don't live in Australia or you don't want to purchase, you're already purchasing through another demonstrator, you can actually purchase this tutorial bundle over my blog. Um, if you go over to my blog, on the right-hand side, there is a little picture with this, uh, the front cover of the tutorial. Um, you can click on that. It's, it'll take you over to PayPal. It's $9.99 US and once you've paid for it, it will be an instant download. So really, really simple. And I can tell you these tutorials in this bundle are awesome. They are so good. So you're not gonna be unhappy at all. You can also see all the previous tutorial bundles there as well so that you can purchase. And um, just quickly as well, my team, the Inky Stampers, also get this each month for free. So all you have to do is sign up, purchase the starter kit, um, and whether you want to be a discount shopper for yourself or you want to run it as a business, you can do either. And that's just a really great way of 
you know, being part of that community. Um, welcome everyone. Um, let me just have a quick look at all the comments before we we move on and I'll show you the card that we're going to create today. Um, oh, Lizzie says she adores the rain or shine sweet. Yeah, I do too. It's one of my favourites. So cute. It's just adorable critters. Oh, Sue says she's a discount shopper and she loves it. Yes. It's actually... Probably the main reason I joined Stamping Up was to be the discount shopper. All right, so let me show you the card that we're going to create today. It is a tower card. So cute. It's using the flowers and more um, host paper. And it folds down so you can pop it into a large envelope. Um, is that a... C5, A5 envelope, I think. I think that's what it is. Pops up and is super cute. Isn't that awesome? Now I have used the Flowers and More DSP, but I've also used one of the bundles in the mini catalogue. It's called the Happy Labels. This has so many great uh, sentiments in the stamp set there are no images, it's all sentiments, but you can get the bundle with this great punch and I really like this one because it's like a uh, ticket end so you can do like tickets for if you do scrapbooking or uh, for your cards as well so I'm really really excited to be using this bundle all right so let me show you that flowers and more DSP it is a mag uh, like a massive um, pack of paper 48 sheets of 12 by 12 so you could certainly um, do an order with three other friends or even seven other friends and then cut this down and all share it with your Stampering Awards. But um, really, really pretty. It's really bright, bold colours. Lots of flowers and leaves. I think this paper is actually really cute. And let me tell you the colours that coordinate with it. Blackberry Bliss, Crush Curry, Fresh Freesia, Orchid Oasis, Pale Papaya, Parakeet Party, Polished Pink, Shaded Spruce, Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet and Tahitian Tide. So lots of the new in colours. Well, they won't be new when the new annual catalogue comes out, but they are the newer of the in colours. So, and huge, huge pack. I don't think I'll ever be able to go through that. That's crazy. All right. So let me bring in the kit that I have ready to go. So just quickly, this is the tutorial that I'll be sending out to my email subscribers. So don't forget to go over and sign up for that if you're interested in the tutorial. So I have 12 pieces of DSP cut. And I've actually just got one of each of the DSPs and I've cut them down to size. I also have 12 pieces of Blackberry Bliss cardstock, all cut to size, and these layer on really well. Now there is a blog post with this, um, this card, so you can go and check that out. It is linked in the description. There is no measurements over my blog though. So the only way to get those measurements are to sign up for my email or to purchase um, from me this month. All right, and we have the card base, which is um, Blackberry Bliss as well. And I've just got some scraps of basic white thick cardstock for our um, sentiments that are going around the card. So to start off with our card base, and what this one is actually creating this square on the inside that we're going to attach all our pieces to. So it really is quite a, a simple card, really, when you think about it. Okay, so we're going to score this at one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter, and seven inches. Hi Cheryl, how are you? A 
Okay, so the flowers are more DSPs in the mini catalog. Sue, so it's um, pretty much the back page. I'll get it out and I'll show you really quickly because I think it's one of those ones that you can really miss. So page 90, where the host rewards are, you can see the DSP in the background. So there's two host products, both the DSP and the At The Pond stamp set. So page 90. Yes, it is a host gift, that's right. So you have to place a minimum of, here in Australia, $250 order to be able to get that as your stamping rewards. That's why I said that, um, oh, and I didn't do that very well. Let me just rescore that one. Because I don't think it was in, done very well. There we go. Yes, and if you place an order with um, some friends to get that up to $250, you could choose that as your free stamp and rewards. All right, so we're just burnishing on all those folds to create our little box. Like so. I am with my little tab here, I'm just going to take just a slither off each side. Sue's asking if it can be a demo. It can't be a demo order. It can, you just have to do the 250 minimum, Sue, um, to get your stamping rewards. Okay, so I've got some tear and tape. I'm going to add that along that score line. Because I'm overly cautious, what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna take that backing off and I'm gonna add another strip just so it's got lots of strength to it going all the way to the edge. And then we can just push this down, line them up, placing it over the top gives us our perfect little box. There we have it. Okay, so I'm going to bring in some liquid glue and we're going to add all our pieces to our Blackberry Bliss card. Once you have this done, it actually comes together really quickly. I think this one's also a good one to craft with while you're watching TV. So once you have all those things, pieces all cut up, it'll make nice work with it. Now I actually have cut an extra two kits. So what I'm offering is the next two people to place an order in my online store using the host code. So this is the host code here. I'll actually send a kit for this card as well as your other gifts. So just an added incentive. I was cutting three of each, doing a strip of the, of the DSP and I cut them into three bits because it went over the 12 by 12. So it was just easy to cut three, three kits. So I have two kits to give away to the first two customer orders. as an extra bonus. So there's a really nice little border all the way around. Um, I love Blackberry Bliss. So striking and dark in the background. So we're having a new color refresh. Well, Stamping Up's having a new color refresh when the annual catalog comes out. As demonstrators, we don't know what colours are leaving other than the in colours. Um, but with a colour refresh, it means that we're going to have new colours come in. And we do know that Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock are coming back. 
and I did show you those two colors last week so if you weren't here last week and you want to know what those colors look like if you don't know what pretty peacock and lost lagoon looks like just leave it in the comments and I can see that and I can grab those out and show you um, but we have no idea what ones are going to be replaced by those so we're going to lose some colors but gain some colors as well so it's pretty exciting as long as we don't don't lose any favorites is there any colors that you think you can do without or any colors that you really hope don't go anywhere now Cheryl I'm not sure if I've said hello to you so hello Cheryl thanks for joining in um, for me I really like Granny Apple Green. I hope that doesn't go anywhere. I know pretty the um, Parakeet Party is pretty similar, but it is an in colour. So that will be leaving us next year. So I'd really like Granny Apple Green to stay. Um, I wouldn't mind if a couple of the browns went. I don't know, we seem to have a lot of brown. I really like Mango Melody. I don't know. There's probably a lot of colours that I don't use very often. Like Pumpkin Pie, for instance. I only use that when I'm creating um, Halloween stuff. <laughs> anyway. Glenda wants to see the Lost Lagoon. Absolutely. I'll go and grab it in just a sec. Sue says she wants fresh freesia to stay. Yes. Well, that is one of the in colors that are leaving, but we usually get in colors back when we have color refreshes. So that would be nice to see fresh freesia stay because yeah, it's a nice soft purple color and a lot lighter than, you know, the gorgeous grape and Highland Heather. It's, it's very soft and pretty, so I agree. Fresh freeze, you could definitely stay. Lizzie says she's not keen on the browns, but loves the brights. Yeah, brights are my favorite family, my go-to. So we've got all those added um, onto our mats. The next thing we can do is we can start popping them together. So the way it works is you're going to add um, two going one way, so like so, and then the middle one's going to go the opposite way. And we just have to work out what ones we want. We've got a lot of flowers, so I need to sort of break the flowers up a little so they're not all together. Maybe something like that. I'll go those ones first. So I'm going to add, I'm just going to use liquid glue to place them down with. Now the liquid glue is great. You've got that wiggle room. You want to make sure that it's not going anywhere while you're um, putting your next ones down. So I'm going to do the bottom one. Just lining up your edges. And then our middle one. We can place the opposite way. so and then we're just going to go around the edge doing the exact same thing and we might 
my jaw green, I think. Hi, Riley. You come home. So I didn't sort of work out any matches what goes together yet. Because it's in all the same DSP, we're pretty lucky that Stamping Up does um, make sure that everything matches quite well. So German Shepherd's been next door at Mum's, running around. She didn't want to come home before when I went over to get her. So my hubby just went over and grabbed her. And we're just moving all the way around. Just want to push that down just to make sure that it has a good hold. The liquid glue works really well. It holds nice and strong. You do need to just hold on to it just for a few seconds. It doesn't take long at all. Um, this one down the bottom. up my edges. Gonna do our flowers in the middle for this one. Yep. Lapse of concentration there for just a second. I grabbed it in time. Marion says sweet sorbet can go and so saffron. Yeah, I must admit I don't use so saffron very often, so um, sort of only use so saffron at Easter time, which is funny, isn't it? Yeah, Marion wants all the purples to stay. <laughs> Glenda's asking if Marion's spoiling her. It's just her happy place. She runs and and just carries on like a goose. So that's what she enjoys. This way. And do the flowers. Making sure I'm hanging on to it the right way. It's not upside down. And the great thing is, is these actually butt right up against each other. So as long as they're touching, you know you've got them in the right spot. And you could use any DSP. Um, I actually went with this one because I haven't shown it probably enough. As you can see, that pack is still very, very full. And there's lots of great designs in it. So it's bright, it's colourful, it's fun. Look at that. And it folds down. You can fold it down any way. And it's, it's nice and flat. So you can actually pop this in the mail it's just a, a double double postage all right so then we can bring in that stamp set and i have just a scrap piece of the basic white thick and i just need four different sentiments 
because we've got one on each side. So it doesn't matter what way you have it, you've got a sentiment on there. So I'm gonna do hello, thank you. Um, I just want to hug you. I think that's a nice one. Oh. Well, four different sentiments there. I'm going to pop them on just a block. And I'm using Blackberry Bliss ink to ink those ones up. Let's bring that ink in. This is one of those funny inks that goes all weird on the top, but it does stamp just fine. It doesn't affect the stamping at all. Gonna stamp all four and then I'll cut them out with my trimmer and use that punch to give it the nice edges. Okay, so we have those four. I'm gonna let that dry. That Blackberry Bliss actually is a really dark colour. And it does stay wet for a little while. So while I let that dry for just a minute, let me get the um, Lost Lagoon cardstock. I'll grab that pretty peacock one as well because that is also a returning one. So this one is Lost Lagoon. It is, I would class it as a dirty blue. It's honestly, complete honesty here, it's not my favourite blue. And then we have this blue green which is pretty peacock. But I will say putting these two together, I think they both look really, really beautiful together. So we do know that these are two colors that are returning. So pretty peacock and lost lagoon in our color refresh. So I'm so excited, I cannot wait. So as a demonstrator, we get to find out on the 30th of this month, what uh, we get to see the new catalog and we also get to see what the new colours are and what colours are retiring. Um, so that is an added, per added perk for being a demonstrator. And I think that's a really good perk to have. So I'm just going to do a little bit of cutting here and I'll probably have to cut it down a little bit more As we go, yeah, I think I want that down a little bit more. So depending on what sentiment you use, or even stamp set you use, you might not use this one if you're creating this card again. So you could do any size. So there's one. This side down as well. And this one's way too big. So I'm not worried that there are different um, widths and lengths. I think that's just fine. You could certainly add um, stamped images as well. So whether you want to add flowers or hearts or you know anything like that, you could do that as well. Yeah, I think that's good. And I actually really like um, this one. I don't know how well that you can see that? There we go. That's the one I'm going to use on all of them. 
today. And I've cut them down too small. So one of them I'm going to actually have to add a post-it to. There's one. So these are pretty small to run them through. Then I'll flip it over. Can you guys hear Riley panting? Just right under my, my desk. So there's def different uh, measurements on this punch with grooves to make it easier to make sure that they're lined up. Because I've just sort of cut them willy nilly. It didn't work so well. Okay, so I've got one that's super small. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add some repositional tape to another strip. And that's gonna help me push it through. So turn him over. There's one. So there's always another way to do things. <laughs> there we have it. Super easy. Oh, Sue says add a sticky note um, to the small one. That will work. I find that sometimes the sticky will the sticky part will get caught up in the punch. So sometimes just using scrap pieces of card that you've got on your desk will work well as well. And I'm just looking at that one. I need to cut a little bit more off. That's not quite even. And I know, um, don't get me wrong, I'm not OCD at all, but that is gonna sort of annoy me just a fraction. I'm going to add that to my strip again and place that in and under. Yeah, that looks better. Um, where would you write the message on this one? Um, you could leave one of these blank and have, um, or leave a couple blank where you could write a message. For my family, they know I do not like writing in cards. It's actually something that I despise. And I create the cards. And my lovely husband actually writes in the cards. Always has. Um, so if I can get away with not actually writing in a card, I certainly won't. But yeah, you could definitely uh, leave these, a few of these blank, maybe do basic white or even a light colour where you can do your message. Oh, thank you everyone. I got it. You like this card. So I'm just going to use, I've got some strips here on my dimensionals. So I'm going to use some of those to get rid of them. Need some more edges. Uh, 
and I've popped every single one of these up. Um, if you're making this at home, you don't have to. You could certainly just glue these down, straight down. To me, I love dimensionals. I love pop-up. And it gives it that little bit of extra pizzazz without doing too much. All right. So now we're going to start layering these down. There are four sentiments. And what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to start from the top. Popping it in the middle and then I'm going to turn it. And then I'm going to go to the next one down. So let's do a smaller one. Moving, I'm going to go to the bottom one for this one. I'm going to use this big one. Oh, that's great, Cheryl. Yeah, hopefully everyone's sort of thinking what you could use in your stash for these. And that's it. Now you can add embellishments, you could add a little bit of ribbon, you could tie um, a bow with your ribbon as well and add that. I think, you know, there's so many different things you could do to pizzazz it up. But so simple. And it still fits in an envelope, you can still send it without any issues. So beautiful flowers and more DSP, but you could use any DSP in your stash or anyone in the catalogue that you were really liking at the moment. Um, I'll put one up that way, or one up this way. Yeah, and such a simple card. Once you have all your, your matting pieces cut out, your DSP cut out, you create your little square. It's a super simple card. Alrighty. And, like I said, just by signing up for my emails over my blog, I'll be sending this tutorial out tomorrow. So, um, make sure if you haven't already signed up for it, go over and do that tonight. So easy to do and, you know, you're getting free inspiration every single month. Alright. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Yeah, you have a great week. Yeah, so if anyone needs any of the supplies that I've used, either on today's card or any other cards, you can purchase them in my online store. I would love it if you purchased through me. Um, I have some great incentives. We have a, a customer appreciation card. We have the bundle tutorial. Let me show you the front of that bundle tutorial again for March. 47 wonderful projects. You'll be emailed that. Um, also, for the next two people who do place an order um, using the host code, I have a kit each to send to you on top of your normal everyday rewards. So, um, yeah, if you really like this card, place an order with me and you'll get that in the mail as well. All right. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you for the thumbs up, everyone. If you've enjoyed this card, um, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up as well. All right, I'll be back on Sunday for Tracy's Sunday Challenge. So come back and join me, 8.30 Sunday morning. Um, we have a lot of fun on Sundays as well. And we're starting to get into the Easter spirit. So if you like creating Easter treats, please come back on Sunday. All right, everyone, have a wonderful rest of your week and um, enjoy your long weekend if you're here in Victoria. And I might see you on Sunday. All right, everyone, enjoy. Bye-bye.